So anyway, I had a brilliant idea. I'm always looking for electricity outside and I didn't have an outside outlet. So I had my breaker in there for the generator and I turned it on and I plugged the generator in and it would feed the panel kind of backwards. So that's coming out of there. So I said, well, what the heck? I ran a, picked up on the line there and uh, figured in. Well, let's see. It's a well. It's only a 20 amp breaker, but I put in a 220 outlet for my welder, and ran my wire in today, and ran it back out again, and then I ran it over here to this box here, so that if I got the power on to that outlet and I'm welding or something, so that it won't be powered on outside, I get this switch. I can just shut this switch off here. Then on the outside. When my wire had come out, I had my 224 prong connector coming out of the house. And it was kind of a strange connector because, of course, it's the male end coming out to plug into the generator. So I put a female 220 plug on there and picked up picked up one leg of it and put it in a, put it in a service box. Ta-da! So that I can have a power outside without leaving the door open now. Anyway, so get that on, and we'll see. Here. Drag out the welder here for a second. Sorry about the boring. That's kind of upside down, but that's all right. So plug that welder in. seems to work. So that's a good thing, I guess. So, that is off still. But I have an extension cord running out there. And I get the extension cord plugged into the battery charger. And we'll see if that works. And battery charger works. So the outside, the outside all went, it seems to be operational. This shield is right there. Just a huge pain in the ass that was to get all done, I'll tell you. Yeah. Done.